What if an AI could not just answer your questions, but actually do your work for you? I'm not talking about writing emails. I'm talking about building a complete mobile app from a single sentence. And what if I told you the company behind this AI just became the fastest startup in history to hit 100 million in revenue, but you may never have even heard of them? This isn't a far off future. This is happening right now. The line between an AI assistant and an AI employee is blurring. And it's all because of a massive new update from an AI agent called Manus. How did this quiet company create an AI so powerful it can build an app, fix its own mistakes, and get real work done while you sleep? The answer is a complete shift in how we think about AI. Stick with me because this is the update that finally moves AI from a fun toy to a professional tool. All right, so who is behind this revolution? It's not Google, not Microsoft, not OpenAI. It's a Singapore-based company called Butterfly Effect, and their product is Manus. And their story is fascinating. The company was founded by Zhao Hong, a serial entrepreneur who already built and sold successful AI companies, and their chief scientist, Ji Yi Xiao, is a legendary prodigy who built a popular web browser when he was just 17 years old. But here's the key. They aren't trying to build the next big language model. Their philosophy is simple but brilliant. Instead of building the engine, they're building the car. They take the most powerful models from companies like Anthropic and Alibaba and integrate them into an agent that can actually do things. They're focused on one thing, turning your instructions into finished work. And with their latest release, Manus 1.6, they've taken a giant leap towards that goal. To understand how big this is, you need to know what Manus 1.5 could already do. It was already a beast. It could build a full stack website with a back end, a database, and user logins all from a single conversation. That was already mind-blowing, but Manus 1.6 is a different animal. This isn't just an update, it's a change in philosophy built on three game-changing pillars. First, there's Manus 1.6 Max. This is their new flagship agent. If the old version was a smart intern, Max is a senior project manager. It's built on a new architecture that's all about one-shot task success. That means you don't have to babysit it. You can give it a complex job and you come back to the finished work. In their tests, User satisfaction shot up by over 19% because it just works more often the first time. But how it achieves that is the real secret, and I'll get to that in a minute. Second, and this is the big one, mobile development. For the first time, Manus has broken out of the browser. You can now describe an app, and it will build it for iOS and Android. It's not a mock-up. It generates a blueprint, you approve it, and then it builds a real functional app that you can test on your actual phone in minutes. The gap between I have an idea and I have an app just collapsed from months to minutes. Stunning. And third, design view. This fixes one of the most annoying things about AI image generation. You know how you ask an AI for an image and it gets one tiny detail wrong, so you have to start over? Design view is like Photoshop for AI images. You can just click on a part of the picture and tell it what to change. It's visual, it's interactive, and it saves so much time. So how does it do all this? How does it build an app and fix its own bugs? This is the secret I was talking about. It comes down to one core idea. Manus is an agent, not a chatbot. A chatbot answers questions. You ask, it answers. The conversation is the product. 
An agent does the work. You give it a goal and it creates a plan, uses tools, a web browser, a code editor, a terminal, and executes that plan step by step. It has a memory, it can learn, and most importantly, it can course correct. One reviewer, TechTiff, had Manus build an Idea Vault app. The first version worked, but the voice transcription button was broken. She didn't have to debug it. She just told Manus the transcription button isn't working. Manus understood, identified the problem, and integrated OpenAI's Whisper model to fix it. That's the difference. It's not just giving you code. It's taking responsibility for the outcome. Okay, cool tech, but what does this mean for the future of AI and for all of us? This is the shift from AI as a novelty to AI as a utility. It's the move from assistance to execution. For years, we've been the project managers and AI has been the intern we have to constantly supervise. Manus 1.6 is flipping that script. Now the AI is the project manager and we're the creative directors, setting the vision and letting the agent handle the implementation. This is the foundation for true autonomous systems. Think about it, an AI that can build a mobile app can also manage a marketing campaign, run complex data analysis and generate a report, or even automate scientific research. This is a world where your ideas are no longer limited by your technical skills. If you can explain it, you can build it. That's the new rule. This democratizes creation in a way we've never seen before. It means more entrepreneurs, more creators, and more problem solvers can bring their ideas to life. And also, it means democratization through massive cost reduction. It used to cost thousands to get someone to build an app from your ideas. Now it's automatic for the cost of your MANA subscription, a tiny fraction of previous cost. So Manus 1.6 is a huge technical leap forward. The Max agent delivers real performance. Mobile development opens up a new frontier and design view adds crucial polish. But the real story here is the shift in our relationship with AI. We are moving from a world of prompts and answers to a world of goals and results. It's the difference between asking for directions and having a self-driving car take you there. This is what the future of work looks like. Humans providing the vision, the creativity, and the intent, and AI agents providing the tireless, autonomous execution to make it real. And by the way, it removes excuses. With this environment, there's no excuses not to bring your idea to life. This is one of the most exciting updates I've seen all year coming right at the end of 2025, and it proves that the biggest innovations in AI might not come from the giants we all know, but from focused, ambitious teams building the tools of the future. What would you build if you had an AI agent that could bring any idea to life? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you want to stay ahead of the curve on the AI revolution, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell. You won't want to miss what's coming next. Also, please support us on Patreon. Your small dollar financial support makes a huge difference to the growth and content generation of the channel. Until next time, thanks so much. Take care, guys, and thanks a million to my subscribers.